the second important point, uh, apart from the postponed dates, what I want to tell you is, yes, those who have already given their exam are uh, hopeful of the result, except some pedagogy areas, some paper two areas are tough. Let me give you tough or easy, doesn't matter for two reasons. This is a competitive exam. So it's not 60% above first class, 50% below second class, whether you qualified or not. But a decent score, 90 plus will make you qualify, 100 plus will show you, yes, this candidate uh, is having a good caliber, if not government, when you go for private interviews as well. As a first appearance, that will give this particular view about your ability and uh, performance. So that's the reason I also have targeted uh, 100 plus to be achieved, not to pressurize anybody or not to limit anybody. You may get, uh, you get only 100 or 100 plus, all right? So that was the intention, but uh, time management is a second thing is reported. Now, from the beginning, I have been telling that's definitely as an important key after your preparation and revision, time management is a third important. First basic preparation, second revision, and the third time management of the exam is the three crucial phases or the stages and aspects of securing very good score in a competitive exam like this, all right? So therefore, what I recommend once again, I repeat, is you have to answer your paper in three stages, first of the case, two stages, not one time go, rest all by chance, which you know, and you can answer within one minute, only answer in the first view. Any question taking more than 45 seconds, definitely more than one minute, though you know that you are sure about the answer, but it takes time, please do mark it for review and go. All right. So thereby what happens is you can come second round, think and put. And the third level, which you don't know, you don't know question, you don't know answer. That you just leave it and go. And in the, on the screen, it shows you visited the question, but you did not answer. So after second round, still if you are left with some time, then revisit by chance, something comes to your mind, you can put it otherwise, without visiting those left over 10, 20 questions you can do. So out of 150 minutes, you should plan like this is around 100 to 110 minutes, you are completing first round. Then another 20 to 30 minutes, second round. Last 10 to 20 minutes, third round. In this last five minutes, remember pretty well, this last five minutes, you should not be referring to reading any question. Only thing is see that all your 150 are having either green color, perfect, fully answered, or with that violet, answered but kept for review because they are also will be assessed now in that last five minutes if you have any two minutes three minutes go to that reviewed answered but reviewed kind of questions and definitely you are going to get good marks so this is okay strategy but implementation part there we are facing challenges we are thinking like this but by the time we go there things are happening the other way around yes i understand that but let me tell you now out of the aspirants who have given their exam already and their interaction and out of my own experience is there are some areas, particularly your comprehension of the paragraphs, unknowingly takes a lot of time. If you are from paper to mathematics content, you should not do first, though otherwise you are tempted, maths or science or social, because I did graduation, some of you may be post-graduation or PhD in that area, you may be tempted, but please don't do that. Okay, because they tend to take a lot of time. So therefore, start with the other areas, for example, English. But in, even in English also, comprehension paragraph, you should not do in the first go. Other questions, pedagogy part, you do it. Similarly, the second language, pedagogy part, you do it. Uh, CDP, but in CDP, all questions, neither this side nor that side. Those questions which are short to the point, direct answerable, not matching this kind, that kind, lengthy description, those you answer in the first. After reading, you feel like it's not for first round, just leave it, then go. Like this, if you follow this strategy, I'm sure definitely you are going to manage your time and uh, get that confidence also. But some of you already given, and uh, oh my goodness, I have missed this. Don't worry, still okay. It makes a five, 10 to 20% score difference, max by. Otherwise, if you have done very well, still you will get a good decent score. That's fine. All right. So with this, those who are on live, 
uh, either in the Zoom or those who have already joined in the WhatsApp, should you have any questions, just ask me before I start with the key and discussion. I love to answer that and then go ahead. 